Hello, in this video we're going to be covering issues you may be having with your Z-Rail. Those issues being incorrect distance traveled or uh, acceleration issues. And for that first issue, that may be because your motor switches are on the wrong settings or you have a different ratio gearbox, which obviously changes the distance amount. And as well as the Z acceleration. If you have a very heavy load on this extruder arm, uh, if you're filling the extruder with a very dense material, we may have to give some extra power to the vertical movement of the Z rail by slowing down its speed and turning the slower speed into power. So first we're gonna press home Z and Z goes all the way up to the top. And to check some distances on the interface, where we just pushed home Z. I'm gonna push Z minus, uh, let's do 100. So I pushed negative 50 twice there. So Z should have moved down 10 centimeters. Uh, 50 being 50 millimeters, which is five centimeters. So the distance from the uh, sensor uh, plate to the probe switch should be 10 centimeters. So as you can see there, it is exactly 10 centimeters. So on that little red 10 there, so that is confirmed working good. Uh, if you wanna get more accurate, you can use a uh, set of calipers and get very precise measurements. You can uh, reset, uh, zero the calipers, and then I'm going to now push plus 50 in the interface and just because I'm a little bit inaccurate holding this one hand, it measured 48, 48. But uh, if you do get it as accurate as you can, this will be spot on. If you believe this tuning is off, you can contact our tech support team and we will guide you through the steps to retune the Z steps per millimeter. As a side note, these steps do apply to our older version printers as well. And our older version printers, such as the version 7 and version 9 printer, may need to have their Z-belt tightened. On our version 10 printers, you cannot tighten the Z-belt. It has a mechanism in place to never let it become loose. And so please do not attempt to tighten the Z-belt on your version 10 printer or any of the belts. If you are using dense materials, such as a metal material or perhaps cement in the extruder, it may be slightly overweight and we can slightly increase the power to the extruder arm, the Z rail system, uh, by changing some settings in the configuration file. So here in our uh, version 10 interface, we have a little system gear. And then here we have the config file. On our version nine printers, uh, that would be under machine settings and then in the middle would be system editor. And we want to ed edit the config.g file and then these are all of the settings for the printer. If you change these settings beyond the parameters we're talking about in this video, that will void your warranty of your printer. What we're going to be looking at are the maximum instantaneous speed change, the max speeds, and the acceleration speeds, which are these M66, M203, and M201. And specifically, we're going to be looking at the Z values. So if you wanted some more power, out of your Z rail, you can lower the maximum speed. So perhaps lower this to uh, 1500 instead of uh, 2500. And that this number is representative of the steps per millimeter per minute. So, you know, uh, uh, 15 maximum speed change of millimeters per minute. So on 1500 here. And so, if you're still having issues, you can then even lower the max acceleration. So you can maybe perhaps bring this 500 to 250 and maybe the maximum instantaneous speed change to 200. And you will notice this in your print. The Z arm will move slower and accelerate slower, but you will get much more power out of your printer. And then you can just save the settings and then restart the board. And that is how to get some additional power out of your Z rail printer.